around the subject of fullness of joy. Let me read you a couple of words from John chapter 15. These are the words of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you'll remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. I've never really led prayers on the subject of fullness of joy before, so I took a little walk through the scriptures looking at the different vehicles that God uses to deliver joy to us. Do you know God is the ultimate source of joy? And joy is his blessing that he bestows on us through a variety of different means. And so tonight I wanna to pray through three of those with you. What are God's vehicles of joy in our lives? There are literally dozens of them in scripture, but I've broken them down into three categories that I wanna spend a few minutes praying around this evening. The first uh, one I wanna talk about is that we receive joy first and foremost through our relationship with God. We receive joy through our relationship with God. Joy comes from salvation in Jesus Christ. When we receive Jesus as our savior, the joy of the Lord is released into our hearts. Isaiah said, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. When Jesus called Zacchaeus to come down out of that ridiculous tree, his heart was filled with joy. When revival came to the city of Samaria, the whole city was filled with joy. When the Ethiopian eunuch received Jesus in the middle of the desert and was baptized, he went off joyful. When the Philippian jailer was born again and baptized in the middle of the night, he was full of joy. You know, Jesus compared finding him to discovering a buried treasure in a field. To find Jesus is to make the discovery of a lifetime and it fills your heart to overflowing with joy. Along with that, joy comes from living in obedience to Christ. Jesus said in John 15, obey my commands and remain in love. I've told in my love, I've told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. David said in Psalm 51 that when he disobeyed God, he lost the joy of his salvation. If you've experienced that, there's good news because great joy is released whenever we come back to God after being estranged from him. When Hezekiah led the people back to God, the result that there was joy in Jerusalem such has not been seen since the days of Solomon. When Ezra led the people back from Babylon and they laid the foundation for a new temple, shouts of joy rang out over a long distance. There was joy in the father's house when a lost son came home. There was joy among the shepherd's friends when a lost sheep was rescued. And when we, or when the ones that we love come back to God, God, it releases joy too. Joy also comes from worship and the word of God and through prayer. David said, Lord, your word delights my heart. It gives joy to my heart. Jeremiah said, I ate your words and they were my joy and my heart's delight. Jesus said that when the seed of the word is sown, it springs up in joy. The Psalms also teach us that worship isn't merely an expression of the joy that we might be feeling at the moment, but worship is a vehicle that releases joy. I don't know about you, but after waving those flags, I feel a little bit more joyful this evening. The Psalmist said, my lips will shout for joy whenever I sing praise and prayer is another vehicle of joy. So I wanna tell you while we've, we've been at this for two and a half hours already and your joy batteries are already uh, filled up. You know, that little green battery icon, it's already full and it's gonna, by, by, by midnight, I don't know what's gonna happen. By 2, 2 a.m., I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be full to overflowing. It makes a lot of sense that 
worship and the word and the prayer release joy because all of them are inherently invested with the presence of God. And it's his presence that is our source of joy. David said, in your presence is complete fullness of joy. He said, strength and joy are in your dwelling place. Joy is a special work of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit results in an outpouring of joy. Joy is one of the fruits of the indwelling Holy Spirit. The kingdom of heaven is joy in the Holy Ghost. Jesus and the apostles and the early believers had moments where the Holy Spirit just descended upon them in joy for reasons we can't even explain and, and often at times where they were facing very difficult circumstances and yet the Holy Spirit just showed up and gave them a good shot of joy. And the Holy Spirit is going to do the same for us. In fact, in a moment we're going to pray and we're going to pray that we're going to have one of those Holy Ghost moments of joy together. Joy comes from trusting in God. Faith begets joy that is indescribable and full of glory, Peter said. Paul said, the God of hope will fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him. Joy comes from answered prayer. When God has heard us, when he's granted our petition, it gives joy to us. Joy comes from being engaged in God's work and from completing his, your mission. When the 72 returned from their short-term mission trip, they came home with joy. John the Baptist said, it has been my joy to prepare the way for Jesus to come. And now that my job is finished, he said, my joy is complete. Serving God will release joy into your heart. And knowing that you've fulfilled your duty will make your joy complete. And joy comes from spiritual victories. When God has put your enemies under your feet, when he's given you the power to overcome, joy comes. David said, how great is my joy in the victories that you've given me. And before we go any further in this wonderful night of prayer, I want to take a moment and I want to pray that God is going to release to us the fullness of his joy. And I want to pray that God would remove anything that would hinder us from experiencing the fullness of his joy. Would you stand together with me this evening? And uh, we're going we're gonna to do this first bit a la cleansing, cleansing stream. How many of you have been on a cleansing stream retreat? All right, so you know what we do on cleansing stream. Uh, I've written a prayer uh, that the Lord would just remove anything that would perhaps uh, block us from receiving the fullness of his joy. David said, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. So how many, how, how many of you could just use a little, little like a little freshening up of joy this evening? All right, come on, let's, let's pray this. I'm gonna lead and I'm gonna ask you to follow after me. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this night of worship. I thank you for this night of prayer. I thank you for your presence here. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. Father, tonight I pray that nothing would prevent me from experiencing your joy. Father, I pray that you would remove all the stress of this day, all the stress of this week, all the stress of this summer, Father, I pray that you would remove every distraction in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for a fresh washing tonight. I invite you to search me. Search me, O oh God. Know my heart. Search me, O oh God. Test my thoughts. Search me, O oh God. Examine my ways. See if there be any sinful thing in me. And lead me in your path of everlasting life. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Father, I open my heart to everything you want to do tonight. Fill me afresh with the Holy Spirit. 
Fill me with fresh faith. Fill me with fresh vision. Fill me with fresh determination. Fill me with fresh courage. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. In Jesus' name. Oh, come on, let's give him a great big praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen, just remain standing because the next two are going to go quickly. How do we receive joy? Number one, through our relationship with God. Secondly, we receive joy through our relationships with others. You know, God uses our family and our friends to fill our lives with joy. The Bible says our spouses bring us joy. Husbands bring their wives joy. Wives bring their husbands joy. Companionship brings us joy. Partnership brings us joy. Intimacy brings us joy. The Bible also says that our children bring us joy. Isaac brought laughter to the house of Abraham and Sarah. John the Baptist brought joy to Zechariah and Elizabeth. Proverbs says that wise children bring joy to their parents. The Bible also says that friends bring us joy. Friends encourage us, friends comfort us, friends sharpen us, they make us better. So I want us to take a moment tonight and I want us to pray that God will enable us to enjoy all of the relationships in our lives and that he'll release joy through every relationship that we have. If you're married, I want you to pray over you right now. I want you to just lift up your hands wherever you are if you're married. Listen, if you're not married but you wish you were, we're going to pray for you tonight. Boaz is on his way. Don't you worry. <laughs> your, your Ruth is on her way. Don't you worry. Don't you settle for anything less than a Boaz. Don't you settle for anything less than a Ruth. Come on, let's pray right now. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every marriage. I thank you for my marriage. I thank you for every marriage represented in this room. And Father, I thank you for every marriage, Lord, represented among the family of Harvest Time Church. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for a strengthening of marriages, Lord God. I pray for healing in marriage. Marriages, Lord God, you are our peace. Jesus, you tear down the dividing wall of hostility that has grown up between us. Father, where there has been a, an accumulation of misunderstandings and hurts, Lord, where there's been an accumulation of, of uh, uh, just slipping and, and not minding the little things, Father, that has built a wall. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we tear down that wall. Lord, we melt it away with peace in Jesus' name. Father, your word says the sound of joyful shouting and salvation shall be in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. So God, I pray that you would sweep through our homes in Jesus' name with the wind of the Holy Spirit and bring an atmosphere change, Lord. I pray that you'd release tension in our homes, Lord God. I pray, Father, that there wouldn't be the sound of angry shouting and strife, Lord, and ugliness. But Lord, I pray there would be a sound the joyful shouting, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you'd help husbands to love their wives like Jesus loved the church, Lord. And I pray that you'd help wives, Lord, to, to come and encourage and undergird and support and lift up their husbands, Lord God. Father, in Jesus' name, I just pray for joy in our marriages. I pray for every single young man and every single young woman, Lord, uh, in our congregation, young and not so young, Lord. Everyone, Lord, who is wanting a companion, Lord God, you said it's not good for a man to be alone, Lord. And Father, you're the God that fills and satisfies the desires of our heart and brings every good thing and every good blessing. So I pray, God, that this coming season would be a season season of love and courtship, Lord, of engagement and of matrimony, Lord. I pray, Lord, that the word would get out. If you're looking for a good Christian spouse, go to harvest time because there's matches. There's divine matches happening there. Match.com. It's going to be heavenlymatch.com at Harvest Time Church, Lord. Father, I pray 
Lord, that this would be the place that young men and young women of character, Lord, and integrity who have hearts who love you and, and Lord, desire to serve you with their, their whole life, Lord, I pray that they would find each other, Lord, that they would be matched up supernaturally, and Lord, that they would come together. And Lord, I pray that you'd give our, our single people, Lord, patience, Lord, while they just wait in faith, Lord. I pray, Lord, that we wouldn't have any Ishmaels, Lord, but I pray, Father, Lord, that people would just wait for you to bring about your promise, Lord, knowing that you always watch over your word to perform it. Bless marriages right now in Jesus' name. We've already prayed for children, but I want us to pray again. And uh, I want to pray particularly that God would give you the ability to enjoy your children and that your children would be a joy and that they would bring your home laughter. Even if your kids are already grown and, and out of the nest, let's pray for your kids. Let's pray for your grandkids. And I want you to pray for your kids right now. Would you do that? Would you just pray for your children, pray for your grandchildren? right now. Listen, if, if you don't have kids, then let's just pray for the kids in the congregation of Harvest Time. Come on, you lift up your voice right now and let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift up your children's names before the Lord. Father, we lift up Ben and Maddie and Lolly to you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for them, oh God. Thank you for them, Lord. Help us to enjoy them, Lord, and let them be a joy to our hearts, Lord. Father, let them fill our hearts with laughter. Lord, I pray that our sons and daughters would be wise, Lord, that would bring joy to their father's and mother's heart, Lord. I pray that they wouldn't walk away from you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they would just walk straight. God, we pray, Lord, that you'd surround our children, God. Lord, I pray that the grace that was on Daniel and on Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego in Babylon would rest on our kids. Let the grace that was on Esther, Lord God, in Babylon rest on our kids. Lord, let the grace that was on Joseph in Egypt rest on our kids. Let the grace that was on the little servant girl, Lord, in Naaman's house rest on our kids. Let the grace, Lord, even that was on Moses in Egypt rest upon our kids. Oh God, Father, we pray that you'd preserve them. Oh God, Lord, I pray that you'd put a shield of protection around them. Oh God, Lord, I pray that you would just break the power of the spirit of the age, of the prince of the power of the air that rules the airwaves, Lord, and influences minds and hearts and, and emotions, Lord, and, and morals and mores, God. Father, I pray you'd protect our children from it, oh God. Lord, I pray that they would have a heart for God. Lord, let them have a biblical mindset, a biblical worldview, Lord God. Father, biblical values, biblical morals, God, give them a sure foundation in our homes, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for the blessing of friendships, Lord. And Father, we just pray that every friendship, Lord, uh, among us would be edifying and encouraging, Lord, that it would just sharpen us, Lord, that it would just make us strong. Give us wisdom in our friendships, Lord God, and bless every relationship. Lord, come on, lift up your hands. Father, I just pray right now, Lord, that through the relationships in our life, you would release joy through marriages, through family, through friends, Lord, through the body of Christ, Lord, release joy, release joy. Let it be a joy for people to come here. God, I pray a spirit of joy would fill the atmosphere of this church, Lord. God, that when people drive on the campus, they would feel joyful. That when they walk in the front doors, they would feel joyful. That when they come into the sanctuary, they'd feel joyful. That down in the coffee bar, they would be joyful. That in the Sunday school classrooms, they'd be joyful. That out in the dome, they would be joyful. That in the offices, they would be joyful. That back in the prayer room, they would be joyful. God, let joy just permeate. Lord, let the joy of heaven come and permeate, Lord. Let us be so glad to see one another that we just can't stop embracing one another and blessing one another and thanking God for one another. Father, let joy come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now listen, the third thing that we're going to do, and you're going to do this to each other, the third thing that we're going to do there, there are, are, talking about three categories where we receive joy. One is our relationship with God. One is our relationship with others. And the third thing is this, joy, God releases joy to us through our success in the world. 
Do you know that joy is joy is programmed into the very creation of the world? The Bible says that while God was was mounding up the mountains, while he was pushing down the valleys, while he was filling the oceans with water, it says that the angels sang for joy. Joy is, is programmed into the very creation. I love this scripture. David said, the whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and they sing. God gave us everything to enjoy. But I want to end this. Listen, when God makes provision for us, when he blesses the work of our hands so that it brings a good return, so that it brings a good result, so that it brings a good profit, that fills us with joy. Deuteronomy 16, 15 says, God will bless your harvest and the work of your hands and you will, your joy will be complete. Paul said, God has not left himself without a testimony. He has shown you kindness by giving you rain from heaven, crops in their seasons. He, listen, he provides you with plenty of food and fills your heart with joy. So the final thing that I want to pray for this evening is I want to pray that God will release joy to you through blessing the work of your hands and making, do you know we pray that for you every week? I want you to know that every Tuesday morning you get prayed for, and brother, when we're done praying for you, I wanna tell you, you have been prayed for. <laughs> you have been prayed for well. But I want you to pray for each other. This is what I want you to do. I want you to find somebody, and I want you to bless their hands tonight. I just want you to bless that God will, will bless all the work of their hands. I want you to take their hands, you t they'll take your hands, you take their hands, and I want you to bless one another's hands tonight, that God will bless everything that you touch, will prosper, right? What's the Bible said? He shall be like a tree planted by the streams of living water. His leaf will never fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper. If you need a job, you're going to get a job tonight. If you need a better job, you're going to get a better job tonight. If you need a raise, you're going to get a raise. If you need a bonus, it's coming. I speak over you in the name of Jesus, promotions. I speak over you, sales and commissions. I speak over our small business owner owners phones ringing off the hook uh, I speak clients waiting in line to, to, to get your services I speak the pick of the very best assignments uh, I speak promotions not just one jump above but two and three jumps over where you are right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus come on bless one another's hands bless one another's hands bless one another's hands Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your great promises, Lord God. We thank you that joy, Lord, is woven into the very creation of the earth, Lord. God, while the mountains were being formed and the valleys were being laid out, while the oceans were being filled, Lord, you knitted joy into the creation, Lord. And I thank you as a good father that it brings you joy, Lord, to bless all the work of our hands, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you make provision for us. I thank you that you give us rain from heaven when we need it, that you give us crops in season, Lord. I thank you that you make our barns full, Lord God, that you make our vats full of oil and of new wine, Lord. I thank you that you make our pantry full, that you make our cupboard full, that you make our kneading bowl full. I thank you that you bless our assets, Lord God. I thank you that you bless our children, Lord God. Father, I thank you that you bless everything we touch right now in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Lord, I speak your blessing over your people's hands, Lord God, that everything that they touch will prosper. Father, that everything that they put their hand to will succeed, that it will work, Lord. I thank you, God, for giving them ease in their work and wisdom in their work and great skill. Lord, like Bezalel and Aholiab, Lord God, let an anointing come upon them to do the work that you've called them to do, oh God. Father, I pray that their work would bring a good return. I pray that it would bring a good profit, Lord. If they're self-employed, I pray it would bring a good profit for their company. Lord, if, if, if they're employed by someone else, I pray that you would bless, Lord Pharaoh, for Joseph's sake, Lord God. I pray that you'd bless companies, Lord, with huge profits for the sake of your people. And I pray that those blessings would come back, Lord. I pray for bonuses, unexpected bonuses this year. I pray for big bonuses this year, God, that were completely unexpected. I pray for favor with bosses, Lord, and supervisors and managers, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for undertaking on our behalf in the workplace, Lord, and, and just helping us to steer clear of workplace politics, Lord God, and those that would mean to do us harm, Lord. I thank you for moving them up or moving them out so that we can move forward, Lord God. Father, promotion, 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 promotion coming from the Lord, not from the north, south, east, or west, but from the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And Father, I thank you that your blessings are going to release to your people a super abundance of joy in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a big praise in this place. Yes.